Revelation number 258. If you do not have the time to meditate, how much time do you have? I wrote that earlier today before meditating. As I make this video, it is both the last day of the year and it is my birthday. I went a little extra long in meditation to celebrate my birthday, to celebrate life. I mean, isn't that what a birthday is, a celebration of life? So what if we're to celebrate life, then what is life? One could say that life is the breath in our lungs. And without that breath in our lungs, someone could say, well, no, life's more than the breath in our lungs. Well, that's, well, okay, it's more than that. But one could say, without breath in your lungs, in your mind, in your, in your chest, in your brain, you die. So while there might be always a counterposition that no, the breath is not life, we come back to the fact that without the breath, we die. Further still, uh, I was speaking to a counselor of mine or a, one of the people, the counselors that I talked to, and uh, he said, Jacob, the origin of the word psychology comes from psyche, and that has origins in air, in the breath, in, in air, in breathing. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Let's backtrack to the first question. And as we start to unpackage the revelation, and we are now one minute and 42 seconds into the video, we're beginning to see that there's, there's something coming out of that box, right? We've unpackaged the revelation and we've established that psychology has the origins in, in the root psyche and that means to the breath, right? You can go a little deeper into that on your own and research that further. And we know that on a simple level that without the breath, you die. And we know that it's one of the first things that you do when you come into earth, meaning out of your mother's womb, you breathe. And one of the last things you do when you pass away is you stop breathing. So, so many people want to say they don't have time to meditate. They don't have the time to meditate. And the question, the revelation I wrote was, it was to address the mindset that says, I don't have time to meditate. So then I followed up with, well, how much time do you have then? See, the question I asked secondly, I'm asking it to reframe you and put you in a position of lack. Yes, the first premise means if you don't have time to meditate, naturally you've admitted your lack. The second question though is, well then how much time do you have? Is designed to make you really look. And the paradox of this whole thing is that you don't have the time to meditate because you don't meditate. Now again, at the first glance, it seems like a circle. Like that's only stating the obvious. I don't have time to meditate because, you know, I'm not meditating. Yet yeah, that was the answer. But if you let it go right through you, like and move on to, you know, tits on Instagram, you know, women shaking their ass, Netflix, uh, the new movie on Netflix, the new movie fucking, whatever. If you, you just let your fucking mind lose the fact that that was the answer. That the fact you don't have time, the fact you feel you don't have time comes from the fact that you don't meditate. See, meditate, in case you haven't figured out what I'm getting at, is the creation of time. You know, I have to go, I'm gonna go to drive to my mother's house. She's prepared some dinner for, for me. I'm very grateful for that, mom. Um, my friends have a party. They're gonna have a little get together. They're expecting me there too later on this evening. It's my birthday, it's the last day of the year. And I'm here with you in front of this camera. Why? Why not just put on my shoes 
finish getting dressed and go. Why, on a day where I have more places to be, more fun places to be, am I meditating twice as long? So instead of doing 20 minutes, which is a really good time, I did 40 minutes. Why? <clears throat> well, friend, that's the secret, isn't it? That's the whole fucking secret. I mean, look at how ignited I am in front of this video. Look how fucking I'm right here with you watching this video. And you know, what, what saddens me is that I don't think everybody will watch this video. They'll assume that they already got all the answers and that's, and then, and then you'll say, hey, meditate. And they'll say, I don't have time. But what I'm saying is that you don't have the time because you're not meditating to create the time. See, meditation creates space. So it opens up space. And there you go, you sit down, you begin breathing. There's that word, breath, breathing. There's psychology is linked to the breath. It's the first thing we do when we come into this earth. It's the last thing we do. So clearly things are pointing in the direction that the breath is important. Like everything's leaning towards this direction. And yet we cannot have time. And yet if we were running out of time, like you were like on your deathbed, you would want one more breath. You'd want, you'd pay everything for one more second. The seconds that you have now, the seconds that you're using to watch this video, you would want those then, but you have them now. And you could use those seconds in meditation to create more space and more clarity and enjoy each second a little more. So I'll give you a simple analogy. Let's just say, you know, you go to Whataburger or for those In-N-Out burgers, whatever. You go to your favorite fucking burger shop, okay? I, I, I don't care. Pick your favorite burger shop. You don't like burgers. Your favorite entree, dude. Like, there's always that motherfucker. Like, okay. Um, so, you pick, your, you pick your favorite burger place. And imagine if I were to... Say, is this what you want to eat? You picked it out of the menu and I go, yes. And you go, yes. And I just make it, <laughs> I turn it into a IV fluid and I inject it into your veins some way, somehow. Just, or, or I make it into a shake. That way there's no argument. There's always that person that likes to argue. It can't be done, it can't be done. I'm giving you, would you rather be fed through an IV all your life or would you want to savor it with your taste buds? You know, let's just say we could technically give you all your food in a pill. Would you give up your taste buds because technically you got all your nutritional needs met. You don't even need to chew anymore. Would you take that deal? I'm willing to bet a lot of us wouldn't. There's some that would because they're very time sensitive individuals and they, you know, I, I'm sure I would engage on, on some of that use of that food, whatever that special food is. And, you know, I take supplements and stuff like that. But what I'm, the main core message that I'm getting at is that we savor food and that helps us feel more alive. In that same regard, when we savor the breath, it helps us feel more connected and more alive. I did 40 minutes, dude. You know, let's see what time. It's 7.17. It's 7.17, my sister's saying, where are you? I said, I'll be there in 40 minutes. You know, people are expecting, like, where are you? You know, and I'm here with you making a video. Last day of the year. So I'll post a link below. You can learn how to meditate anywhere you like. I've made videos here on this very channel on how to meditate. There's meditation. I'll sit down and breathe. You know, there's techniques, there's mantras. Like, uh, you know, the reason I'm getting into this is because everybody wants to to live more everybody wants to feel more alive everyone wants to feel ignited and on the last day of the year with places to go on my birthday i gave myself double the time to meditate and i did that to give myself more appreciation for the breath that which sustains my life here on earth I did it to spend time in God and invite him into my soul and really just spend time in that in that bliss. That's why I did it. I could have done 20. I mean, I, you, you understand? Like I could have done 20, but I wanted 40. 
This isn't to impress you. This is to share with you. This is to let you into how my mind works. And in that, you can access some of your own connection to these truths. <clears throat> I'll post a link below later on, um, there is a meditation course I made. I wasn't going to post it, but I was like, that's just not good business, Jacob. Why would you make a course and not promote it? Like, that's just stupid. So yes, I'll post my meditation course, but you can learn it anywhere. I don't, I honestly don't care if you don't take my medication. That's the one course that is, it's, it's ironic. It's like, it's the one course I don't care if you take, I don't care because I hate arguing. One of the reasons I love fitness and science is because there certain, there's a certain shut up factor to it. Meditation is the one thing that isn't just holy as, a, as holy accepted as a protein shake or as holy accepted as lifting weights or as holy accept, accepted as omega-3s. It's it just not as holy accepted. There's still room for argument. Should you meditate? Should you not? And so I don't like to argue about meditation. I don't like to argue about things of God. I I'm one of those people that, what I'm about to say sounds sounds funny to a lot of people, but the more you know about religion, the more you, you realize I'm not joking. I'm one of those foolish people that believes God should unite. Like, I'm part of that tribe that thinks God should unite people. But like, do you understand how controversially not controversial that is like there's someone that will find a way to make that controversial there's someone it, it just it's just and and that's why you meditate because the world is so crazy like it's like that makes no fucking sense right like how how what why would this guy be on a video talking about how it's He likes God to unite people. That makes him controversial. Yeah, that's controversial because religion has separated people uh, over and over. And and through like the, my quest of through my quest of wanting to really get to the next level within myself and my life, meditation is the one science that is consistently there beyond the dogma, beyond the literature, beyond the best writings, beyond the best paintings, beyond the best, you know, communion at church, beyond the best priest, the best pastor, like meditation is still on a higher uh, importance than all of those things. All of those things help you get to the next level, no doubt. Like my first communion, my baptism. But here I am. It's my birthday. I'm speaking to you about meditation. There's no, there's no check in this for me, dude. Like it's just me letting you know. On my birthday, I meditated 40 minutes, and I've created space. I wrote about if you don't have time to meditate, how much time do you have? See, all of these things. They're flowing through me in order to, in order to share, in order for the world around me. Well, let's let's take a look. Let's just say let's just say you were to listen and you were to try to meditate on your own. You developed a practice. What would be in it for me? Let's just put the put two and two. Don't get my course. Go get someone else's course. I don't give a fuck. All right. But let's just say that you were to start meditating. Um, what's in it for me? You're not going to get my course. You can go learn wherever you want. I learned through Self-Realization Fellowship Church. Like Wherever you want to go to, you, TM. David Lynch is a part of the TM. He's always promoting that. So is uh, Russell Brand. It's a great organization I hear. TM. <coughs> so there's a place for you to look. Let's just say that you were. What's in it for me? For me, it's the energy that it could unlock in you and what you would contribute to the world because of that because of that finding maybe you'd contribute more peace maybe you'd have an idea see i'm a coach i have to make videos like i have to train clients i have to communicate with people that's the only way that my work exists it's and i'm here here i am working on my birthday like there's only what um you know what is it four hours left in the year 
and I'm working on my birthday, uh, you know, working to share with you of important insight. Why? It's where I belong. Like there's nowhere else for me to be. Yes, technically I have to go eat dinner and hang out with my friends, but this is where I belong. And that clarity came from the meditation, right? And that movement, so I'm after this synergistic thing. I wouldn't be sharing this with you if it wasn't important, is what I'm getting at. And you wouldn't be listening if it didn't make some sense. You wouldn't be 15 minutes into this video if it didn't make sense. So I behoove you, take some action. Now, final thoughts in closing 2019. Well, got off the phone with my friend Barry. It seems like a lot of people got the shit kicked out of them in many ways. Uh, Fuck, right? <laughs> Fucking shit. 2019, you son of a bitch. So what can we do going forward? You know, the extent as to which 2019 beat me. Ooh, doggy. I've said it in many videos. I don't have to restate it again. You can free to watch some other videos. I don't have to restate it again. It's my birthday. It's the last day of the year. Just know that it's been truly, truly challenging in every possible way. So the fact that there is four hours, let's see what my sister, my sister says. <laughs> um, there's four hours and 30 minutes left in the year. How could I not sit and meditate in closing? How could I not sit and feel life within me? And in that moment, and in that depth, feel hope. Just sincere and utter, beautiful life hope. It's what I wanted to give myself for my birthday. You know, it's getting late. This, we're running out of time for the video here. Hope you've gained something from this. 2019. Thank you. Thank you for what you showed me about myself. Thank you for the strength that you made me pop. The strength that you popped out of me. Thank you for the faith that you freaking dragged out of me at, on every single cell. Thank you for the workouts, the food, the friends, the wins, the losses. You took my father this year. He took more than that even. Hmm. And so, 2020. I wanted to share with you how I'm ending 2019 and so you could see how I'm going into 2020. There's no script, there's no hype you know i'll have products to sell tomorrow but for today i think we've seen enough <laughs>